Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Plants You. My name is Nessa and today we're gonna take a look at the Colombian Red Howl Monkey, which is a meat <laughs> is a mud made by Leaf and Jono Pizza. I will say though Leaf did make another mud of a howl monkey a few months before. Um which was the black howl monkey that video is already up. So if you want to see that it is out there. I will compare them in a minute, uh, just a fast so you can see the difference between the two, but the, the full video is up. As you can see in the picture here below me, the red howler monkey is a red howler monkey. Uh, it is also for Colombia, therefore the Colombian red howler monkey. Uh, but it is a howler monkey which has this longer hair here, which combined down to a beard, just like the other howler monkeys. Uh, and they are famous for this howl or yell or shriek that they do. Um, and they have this reddish color which varies a little bit. Some of the pictures I saw they have lighter uh, red, orangey, golden color on the back and darker on the legs. But some of them had this dark red color all around. So I'm not saying one or the other is the right one. I'm just saying I seen difference er, in the colorations of them. Uh, let's get into the game. And here we have the big fella, and this is a male. And I'm not gonna pronounce that name, but let's just move him over here, and then we're gonna go for the. Black howl monkey. Keep in mind that the color of the Colombian red is uh, bo both genders that have that colored color. The black howl monkey is only males that have the black color, and the female have the golden color. Uh, again, you can see that in the video, which already are up. But as you can see here, the stature, the um, shape of it, the beard. Everything seems pretty much the same, but the red uh, how, uh, Colombian red howl monkey is clearly smaller. Face, facial features here is also pretty much the same as you can see, and it's because the there in the wild is also the same. Again, it is the same subspecies of monkey, and then the red and the black is subspecies of a subspecies of a small subspecies. Um, so they are pretty close related, um, but the colorations are pretty much the biggest difference, and the size. So let's jump in here, and this picture are oh, gorgeous. I love it. It is a least concerned animal and the population in the wild is unknown. They are from South America, more specifically Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Brazil and Peru. And they are from uh, live in tropical and timbered biomes and one of them needs 210 square meters of land and uh, 20 of climbable. It's the same as the black howl monkey but this is also much more than we have seen in other monkeys, so keep in mind these take up more space. Um, they live uh, in areas from 12 to 42 degrees Celsius, and you need a grade 1 climb proof fence, 4 feet 13, that's a meter and 35 or something around there, or water wider than 10 feet which are 3 meters, uh, and deeper than 3.3 feet, which is 1 meter. Jumping over here, this is actually different, I'm just gonna show you. Uh, black Howl Monkey here, it's pretty much the Capuchin's uh, information. But if I found... The red one here, it's quite unique, so this is probably more specific for this subspecies. Uh, groups from 2 to 9, that's all, all up to 2 males, up to 8 females. Bachelor group for males, only 2 and females from 2 to 9. Dominant male in charge of the troop, which are quite common with most monkeys. They are polaramous, 
confident around humans and gaze can enter the habitat. They grow to 52 to 57 centimeter tall, the males, and 46 to 50 the females. Take this with a grain of salt because when it says it's tall, is it when they are on all four? Is it when they are, are standing on two legs? When is this done because it is a four legged animal that can stand on two legs? So it's not specific in enough to be really sure though for from the numbers i think it's standing but i'm not sure um but that would be around one and a half feet pretty much they live for around 22 years and they weigh mills weigh from six to seven and a half kilo which is 12 to 15 each uh, pounds and the females from four and a half to six point three which are nine to uh twelve and a half ish very ish uh, <laughs> sorry i just haven't seen before they write this with the uh, letters but they reach sexual uh, maturity at age five and they can reproduce until they die. They will give only a single baby every second year and they are pregnant for six months and should be easy to get to reproduce in captivity. Again, the same information that most of these smaller monkeys have. No interspecies enrichment though, uh, where I think we could go with everything that belongs in the South American jungle, but that's just me. For enrichment, we have the rubber ducky, which are gone. So here it is. Uh, all three of the small balls, the mirror thingy, the uh, sprinkler thingy, the piano thingy, the ice thingy, and the cutbutt thingies. For food enrichment, we have this suspended forester, we have this small fixed roller feeder, we have the spike tree, we have the frozen fruit, and the forester. So let's take a close up and you're just sitting there waiting for me, aren't you? That's a gorgeous picture. Hopefully I can get this for the, um, what's it called? What's it called? The, um, thumb drive, but it is very good. The eyes are very well done. They have the right amount of shine. When we get real close, you can see a lot of different pigmentations in there, which eyes in real life have. They aren't completely clean. I know a lot of commercials wants us to believe that, but all these different colorations in the eye is very natural. We can see the small claws on the fingers here. We have this very well uh, done face overall we have these small wrinkles in here which are a nice touch and we have this kind of plasticky look again i don't like a plasticky look but the thing is most monkeys uh, such as the howler monkeys have this leather like texture in the face which can have this shine which plastic also have so it isn't because it is plastic like it's more like that literary uh, skin texture they have but because a lot of us think plastic before this specific texture uh, it appears plastic like but they do have it in real life so it's not a bad thing we have a little bit of the fluffiness issues here it's from out here it's beautiful but going out here you can see here this lime is not that uh, impressive we have all, all of the blurriness up here again fluffiness issue fluff doesn't work in planet zoo uh, and then we have all of these strands of hair that doesn't have the right color if you ask me these hairs out here seems more gray um looking from the side here he, they went with the this deep red color for the entire monkey and didn't make these different colorations which is fine they don't have to and again i don't know which pictures they looked at they don't know which pictures i look at and that's just how it is in real life 
Um, we have a little bit of glitching. Keep in mind that might be my computer. But besides that, it is kind of gorgeous. Uh, I like this uh, hair texture here on the leg and on the back. I would have liked to have more layers here. It feels like if you look in between, it seems like we can see the skin through the red hair. And I don't like that. But the hair in, in itself is very well done. We also have some babies. And as you can see here, the babies have the right size. Uh, of course, babies come in multiple sizes. Um, but this is a size where it's big enough so we can see them when we just play the game. We can still spot where the babies are. Um, but at the same time, they are still clearly smaller than the adult. Which I really like. They do have this darker part on the back of the head and up here. The hair seems very well done. I actually think this is better than the adult's hair. Especially here on the leg. Here. If you notice that. That's very beautifully done. And all of the fluffy fur here is very beautiful. Keep in mind the babies have shorter hair than the adult. The thing with the babies is that they are very realistic. Um, it seems... It's kind of clear cut here that should be more furry or more fur overlay here, but that's the thing. Uh, the size of the face, the features are very lifelike. I prefer them to have a smidge of cartoonish, bigger eyes, bigger ears, and so on. But no, that doesn't mean that other people have to prefer that. And this mother clearly don't, and that's okay, that's their choice, I have another choice, and that's personal. This doesn't make it a bad mud, it makes it a better mud for some people, and a worse mud for some other people. Always take everything I say with a grain of salt, a grain of salt, because the important thing here is whether you like the mud, not if I do. Um... But it's, it's quite gorgeous made and it works fine. They are made on the capuchin uh, mud. I assume because it's the small mon monkey we have. Um, the Simon would be weird to build these songs in such way bigger. Um, the only thing is, as you can see, the climbing is a little bit off. But that's it. And... The climbing is always off in Planet 2. As I said in my Planet Zoo 2 video, the climbing needs a complete rework to actually look good at any point um, for the game moving forward. And I don't see that happening anytime soon. Anyway guys, that's all I got for you today. You know the drill. Like, subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again. I'll plan the comments below or in the next video. Bye guys!